Hey guys, welcome back to another Senkel Guns video. So bringing you guys along for another range update video. Uh, this is my local range, Visalia Sportsman's Association, located in Visalia, California. Uh, so the past year and a half, we've been working on a pretty major range improvement project. Had a few little hiccups, uh, a few things that we've gotten solved, taken care of. Um, so kind of just figured give you guys a big walkthrough. Uh, we're getting very, very close, guys, to being all done. Uh, so I don't know how many more of these videos I'm going to do. Uh, but we're getting pretty close. So, uh, standing out on the new pistol range. Uh, the new pistol range, uh, theoretically, guys, you've got 35 to 40 yards to the back berm. Uh, 10 lanes. Um... The uh, dividers here have a piece of 3 8 AR-500, 2 inches of foam, um, wrapped in aluminum and stainless steel. Uh, bench tops, real nice, be able to fold up and down, uh, give you access. Uh, the left side here is fixed, stationary, uh, so you'd be able to have, let's say, a piece of carpet, uh, gun, magazine, ammunition. Uh, this other side goes up and down like a drawbridge and would allow uh, the shooter on a line break access down range, uh, both to be able to change out targets and to be able to sweep up brass. Um, just to start off guys, uh, we are going to be uh, just using portable target stands. Um, eventually, the plan is sometime down the road. Uh, that we're going to eventually have possibly some sort of overhead cable uh, retractable system like you guys might have seen on other indoor ranges. Although, guys, just give you guys a heads up, that is at least five to ten years down the road. Uh, it's not happening immediately. So, um, swinging you guys on around. Yes, guys, there are ten lanes. Uh, theoretically, we're going to be able to use about eight of them. Uh, the last two lanes, you're a little bit close to the left side of this berm, and you do have a little bit of a chance of ricocheting rounds over into rifle range. Um, due to the fact that uh, to the west of us, uh, we do have the police range, and then kind of L-shaped uh, beyond and back behind them uh, is the trap club. Um, both of those we want to keep rounds out of. Uh, we do not want to be ricocheting rounds out of the range. We want to keep them all in. Um, so theoretically, if we were to be using those, uh, we're going to have to just take a little bit of a look at it. So uh, back berm, real nice. Uh, theoretically, guys, if I was to guess, I'm going to guess that that thing's over 20 feet tall. Uh, dirt berm, sloped. Um, the bullets should impact into that. They should not ricochet. Uh, we've taken a pretty good look at that. Um, so, and then also, uh, we should not have a problem of rounds uh, ricocheting off coming back at us uh, like you possibly would with uh, some sort of uh, steel baffled or something of that nature. Uh, retaining wall. Down the east side, this is something that we had to put in. Uh, the top of that retaining wall is roughly ground level. Uh, so we are roughly about 8, 10 feet below ground level. Uh, there is a dirt berm um, in between here and the fence. Uh, the fence basically is dividing us from the ag property to the next door. Uh, we got in the two new sea crates. Uh, the whole new pistol range building. Um, big, big thank you guys uh, to MD and American Air, which donated quite a bit of time, uh, quite a bit of technical help in doing this whole project. Uh, the barbecue area, which is the building up top up there, uh, we went ahead and put in a new concrete floor in for that. That was all just dirt and gravel before. Uh, it was basically unusable uh, during the rainy season due to the fact it was all nice and wet and muddy. So, um, if you guys haven't seen some of the other videos, the guys are still working on getting the last little bit of it in. Uh, but we went ahead and replaced all of the railing 
and the whole range is ADA compliant. Uh, so if you guys do have some sort of disability uh, wheelchair or uh, you, you, you just don't have the ability of going up and down stairs easily, uh, yes guys, the range is accessible uh, via handicap ramp and uh, you would be able to be more than welcome to be able to come out here and shoot. Uh, if you do come out, just, hey, flag one of the guys down. Hey, I need a hand. We'd be more than happy to give you guys a hand. Um, we went ahead and redid all of the drains off of the existing rifle range roof. And then put in brand new dry wells for all of that to go into. Uh, there's quite a bit of roof space between the lower and the upper observation area. So when we get a pretty good little rain shower here, uh, it does tend to back everything up. Um, one thing that we're still working on, still haven't finished, uh, there's still more power that has to be run down here to uh, pistol range, which then is going to be run up to the barbecue area that still has not been finished uh, due to the fact that one guy that's donating this time has been busy. Um, so, uh, swinging guys on around, uh, 28 lane rifle range, um, uh, as of right now, the range is currently sitting at 200 yards, uh, kind of giving you guys a little bit of a look down range, um, with expanding out the range, uh, we ended up having to put one to two foot of clean fill dirt in on top of all of the surfaces that we exposed due to the fact that this is an old dump. Uh, so the bottom's been done. The left side, back side, and right side has been done. The top road surface has been done. The back side on the left and the very back side of the range, uh, which is our access road up to the top of that berm, has been done. The east side is all that we have left, guys. Um, and they are almost done on that. Um, so hopefully another week or two, just the same as pistol, uh, to be able to get the uh, 300 signed off. Once we get that signed off, then we're going to be putting in a 300-yard line. Uh, the plan is also, guys, once we get uh, 300 in, we are also planning on putting in a... Uh, set of holes in at 150 and 250. Uh, that way if you want to step a target out every 50 yards you could or if you want to dial in a scope on one of those particular distances you could. Um, so uh, out here at 50 yards guys uh, the railroad ties is what we put uh, targets into so uh, spinning you guys on around. Um, let's use the portable stands. The distances as of right now are 20 yards, 25 yards, 25 meters, 50 yards, 50 meters, 100, 200 yards. We're eventually going to have 300. The back berm all the way out there is 325 yards. Uh, yes, guys, we are going to have some steel gongs again. So, um, but yeah, uh, real good progress, um, on this whole deal, um, getting pretty close guys to getting everything done, uh, it's been a big, long process, um, so, if you guys would ever want to come out here and shoot, you guys are more than welcome to, the range is open to the public. Although, guys, I would always recommend check the schedule due to the fact some weekends are private matches. The website is VisaliaSportsmans.com. If you click on the menu option, click on the calendar option, it will let you know, hey, are we open or are we not open? So, uh, for those of you who never been out here before, uh, to be able to shoot out here as a public shooter, uh, not as a member, uh, that is $15 a day per person per visit. Uh, membership out here, guys, is actually pretty reasonable. Uh, $80 for an adult that is 18 years or older. Um, 
$30 a year to add a spouse, $10 to add a junior, which is a junior under the age of 18, can be a kid or can be a grandchild. Um, family membership is $125, uh, which basically would cover two adults and as many minors as you have that are able to shoot. Um, lifetime individual uh, is $500. Um, family membership, which covers the two adults and the juniors until they turn 18, is $750. Uh, which is a pretty good deal if you guys are figuring, hey, going to be out here shooting all the next oh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know, guys, yes, it is a little bit longer than normal, but we're getting pretty close to being done. So figured kind of give you guys a whole little run through of everything that we've gotten done so far. Uh, my best guesstimate from what I have heard, guys, um, most likely the 1st of May, uh, we are going to be opening both of these up. So basically two weeks from now, uh, it's right now middle of April, uh, we're going to be getting both of these done, signed off by the county, and get everything all nice and open. So going to be really nice to be able to come out, be able to shoot some of this. So, um, so yeah. So as I mentioned before, guys, if you guys can, um, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you guys have a question. Uh, if you guys want to follow along for more, uh, you can follow along on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I do tend to share some different posts, uh, some different products, uh, some different pictures from out here. So I uh, kind of just figured share all this with you guys. So stay tuned for the next video. So see ya.